Hi everyone, it's Evil Graham Knight 3 doing my Christmas DVDs update. So um, these first ones are the ones I got for Christmas. Uh, I hope you all had a good Christmas and got what you wanted. I certainly did. So uh, I'll start things off with Tenebrae. This one's quite good. Probably uh, my favourite Dario Argento film. Um, really good, really gory. Was on the video nasties list, so uh, that's a plus. But yeah, I highly recommend this one. Next up is Lucio Fulci's The Black Cat. Yeah, this one was pretty good. But um, if you've seen Two Evil Eyes, Dario Argento's version of this is better. I did like that one, but this is still pretty good. Good story anyway. Next up is Street Trash. Um, fun, cheesy movie. Um, brilliant tagline there. Prepare for a molten, a molten hobo holocaust. Yeah, this is a brilliant film. I enjoyed this quite a lot. Definitely go and watch it. Nice gory scenes in it as well. Next is The Howling. Um, yeah, this is a pretty decent werewolf film. Um... I wanted to get uh, this one and the second one to go with my Howling 3, which I didn't really like. But, um, yeah, I did like this first one. It's pretty decent. And a lot of people compare it to American Wealth in London for some reason, but I think they're totally different. But, yeah, I did like this one. It's a decent Wealth movie. Next up is Howling 2. Again, this one was pretty good. Yeah, um... Definitely get this one if you like the first one. But uh, yeah, that's pretty good. The third one I wasn't too keen on. I got Wrong Turn 3, Left for Dead. Yeah, this one. I'd been waiting to get this one for ages, but um, couldn't be asked, so I just put it on my Christmas list. So uh, yeah, I've seen it, and uh, a lot of people said they didn't like it, but some bits of it I thought were alright, some bits of it were. Uh, really bad so I can't wait to see the fourth one when it comes out so well it is out when it comes out to region 2 DVD but, um, yeah so the wrong turn 3 and last me for, for my Christmas presents was the zombie dead this is otherwise known as burial ground the night of terror or something like that but um, yeah I watched this one last night and um a really low, really low budget zombie film. Um, I've not got much to say about this one because I liked it and I didn't like it. So uh, let me know what you think of this. Leave a message and say what you think about this one because I don't really know what to say about it really. So um, I'll move on and these these next DVDs are the ones I've got in the sales. So um, and I've still got four to come. So um, I'll probably do another video when they'll come. But uh, firstly is um, Laid to Rest. A lot of you will probably know this one already. But um, yeah, this one's a pretty decent film. Nice slasher film. Nice and gory. Um, it's brilliant. Highly recommend it. Um, Chrome Scarlet is pretty, uh, pretty awesome. And I can't wait to see the second one. So... Um, yeah, that was pretty good. Definitely worth getting. Next is another Arrow video, and it's Island of Death. Um, again, this one was on the Video Nasties list, along with The Zombie Dead. I think that one was on Video Nasties list as well. But um, yeah, this one is uh, quite shocking, and but um, I, I did like it. I thought it was a pretty good story, but um, yeah, really shocking in some bits. Well, not shocking as in bad, but just I don't know. Um, if you've seen it, you'll know what I'm on about. So uh, yeah, if you like these sort of films, um, or just a complete like an arrow collection or whatever, I'd I'd say it's worth a watch. Uh, next is a uh, two thousand one Maniacs double feature. Uh, first one's brilliant. Can't fault the first one. It's absolutely brilliant. 
second one was rubbish. I hated the second one. But the first one was pretty decent. One thing I hate about it, it's just a small thing, but it got on my nerves, is Mayor Buckman's eye patch. And that uh, changes, if you notice, from um, Robert England there playing him and his eye patch is on that eye. Bill Mosley is on the other eye. So um, it's just a small thing, but it did get on my nerves a little bit. But um, yeah, watch the first one. First one's brilliant. Second one's not so good. Next, I finally upgraded my Texas Chainsaw Massacre to the Steel Book, um, three disc Steel Book collection. Um, yeah, a lot of you will probably have this. Uh, but I finally upgraded it. A uh, nice little thing for my collection. Next is Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, the gruesome edition. Um, I don't know if this is different to the one I got, but I saw this cover and I thought um, it might have more like gore or something, so I don't know yet. I've not watched it properly. So, uh, yeah, I just got it because I pretty much like the cover, really. Next is Fantastic Factory Presents. A uh, box set by Arrow. It's got Faust, Love of the Damned, Roma Santa, The Whale Hunt, Beyond Reanimator, and Arachnid. Yeah, all the horror fans out there will probably know this one as well. Uh, my favourite out of them is probably Beyond Reanimator. Uh, slowly followed by Faust, then Arachnid, and then Roma Santa. Um, yeah, they're all pretty good. It's the first reanimator film that I've seen beyond reanimator, so I have to get the other ones. So um yeah. So that one and lastly is Evil Speak. I only just got this one today and just finished watching it before I did the video. And it's absolutely brilliant. Can't fault it. I was surprised when I got it because I thought it was just a one disc version, but it's not, it's the two disc with um the US release and the uncut release, so um, it's pretty decent. So, um, thanks for watching. Hope you have a good new year. Hope you had a good Christmas. And um, if you want me to do any videos, just ask. Uh, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing. I'll speak to you all later. Bye.